So, iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 are probably two of the biggest things we want to see at the Apple June event, also known as WWDC 2024. But, what can we expect from iOS 18 and what will it look like? What AI features are we going to be getting this year? And of course, when is the release date when we'll be able to get it on our iPhones? Well, the great news is today we will cover all of this information. So first of all, let's talk about what iOS 18 will look like when it comes available at the June event, what is WWDC 2024. Well, we've actually had a report in right here, as you can see, and it says that iOS 18 will kind of take a page out of Vision Pro, sort of Vision OS's software here. We're kind of having that kind of misty kind of look. But then we've also had another sketchy leak what has come in. And this here is a leak of the camera app, for example. And as you can see here on the top and the bottom there, you can see it's got that kind of misty kind of look, kind of like what Vision OS looks like now, if you've had the ability to try that out. Oh, and by the way, just in case you're wondering, no, I have not forgotten about doing a video about this, the Vision Pro. So if you do want to check out that video when it's coming out very, very soon, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. But seeing properly now with my normal eyes, you're probably wanting to know what iOS 18 will look like in its glorious renders. And also, let's talk about some of those AI features that are also coming to iOS 18. So for the renders, as you can see right here, the fundamentals of iOS will still remain probably the same. Obviously, like I said, that look of that kind of Vision OS on it will actually make things look quite a bit different. But the idea of how you use iOS 18 will be very similar to the previous versions. But next of all, let's talk about the first AI feature we could be seeing in iOS 18. That's all to do with the camera. We can expect something similar to Samsung's AI and also Google Pixels with the ability to say delete unwanted people, objects on your screen and also move things around too. Then there will probably be AI features built right into the camera app too. So I'm talking like the ability to use AI to clear up photos, to actually make them look sharper, maybe digital zoom to be even better than it has ever been before here. Just like this third party app that I've used right here on this Mickey clock, you can see how much clearer and sharper the picture is zoomed right here there at a five times zoom. Like I said, this was done on a third party app, what you can do on an iPhone already. So it's really going to be easy for Apple to implement this into their own software too. But we've also been told, as you can see right here, that there's going to be other AI features, for example, built into the Notes app, where, for example, you can do math, where you can actually put in calculations right there into the actual notes, and it'll actually work it out right there for you without going into the calculator. Or the ability that all your notes could easily be generated into a voice memo automatically you can just do that from your notes section here we're also expecting a far smarter siri app so for example with that you'd be able to maybe actually talk to siri via like a chat gpt sort of way you'd be able to type in questions you could also still use your voice too to ask questions so the abilities in that but using that sort of chat gpt you could actually ask like siri to maybe make a spreadsheet um, or maybe you can ask siri to actually make say i don't know like a presentation or something like this or organize your music make playlists on something that you like siri would be able to do this with just asking it simple questions and we believe this is definitely going to be a big part of ios 18 as you can see right here minchi Kuo has also said that the next iphones the iphone 16 is going to have improved microphones for a better siri service so it definitely looks like this is on the cards and this is going to be put into ios 18 but there's also that other great leaker out there mark german if you love him or hate him, who's also throwing his hat into the ring, telling us about iOS 18. Mark Gurman has said right here, he expects that iOS 18 is going to be one of the biggest jumps in iOS history that we've ever seen here. And also that the actual abilities of the AI and things like this are going to make the APIs are going to be given out to developers so they can put this into their apps too. Well, for other iOS 18 features, as we've heard, the car project or the Apple car project is now dead, the official car that Apple going to make. However, the new version of CarPlay could be starting to roll out here. 
this year where we've had it previewed in previous years. This is the ability to completely transform your car, your current car, into a full sort of Apple sort of way. And a lot of manufacturers already signed up with this. And it looks like this could be launching and we could actually see some AI features built into this too at iOS 18 at WWDC 2024. Something else that will be happening in June time is the giveaway we are doing on this channel and it is for this. This here is a MacBook Pro and we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of June time. And this is no ordinary MacBook Pro M3 that I'm giving away. This here has got 16 gigabytes of RAM in it and also it's got 512 gigabytes of storage and also it's the fully maxed out M3 chipset you can get. And if you want to be in a chance to possibly get your hands on this MacBook Pro, all you have to write down in the comments below is what technology gear or Apple gear you're planning to get in 2024. And like I said, at the end of June time, we'll be doing a giveaway announcement with that. So if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because I'll be doing that announcement and I'll also be announcing the form that you need to fill in too for this actual giveaway will be happening at that time. So you won't want to miss out on that. This giveaway is an international giveaway. And also I just want to mention that sadly, there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me telling you to telegram whatsapp you and things like this please do ignore them or better still please do report them so next of all let's talk about the release date of ios 18 when you'll be able to get your hands on it well the good news is that on the first day of wwdc 2024 what is apple's june event what is happening on june 10th as we've had the invites already from apple on that day, the first version of the developer's beta will be available. And if it's the same like last year, you'll be able to get your hands on this on that day, on June 10th. But personally, I would not install it, like say on your primary iPhone, like this is my primary iPhone. I'd stick it on a secondary phone that you have right now, because I will tell you right now, it will probably have lots of bugs and it will be an unfinished version of iOS 18. So just be aware of that. But if if you do want to actually stick a good version on your phone, maybe wait up for the public beta that will come out probably at the end of June time or the beginning of July time, and you can store that on your primary phone. Personally, again, I'd probably wait it out a couple of weeks into July, maybe wait for a couple of public betas to come out. That would be my opinion before putting it on your phone, but the choice is yours there. But then for the official version of iOS 18, when we'll be able to get all those new AI features and everything like that, officially well this will probably be in september time most likely the beginning or middle of september ios normally comes out around anywhere between three days to a week before the new versions of the iphones are actually in our hands so that is when we'll probably be able to get our hands on the latest version of ios 18. And then just quickly for compatibility, if you don't have a shiny new iPhone 15 Pro Max like I have here or 15, you'll probably want to know what the lowest model is going to be. We've been told most likely the lowest model is going to be the iPhone 10s or the XS or the 10R or the XR model. So if you've got that, an iPhone 11, iPhone 12 and above, or the second generation iPhone SE and above, you should be absolutely fine in getting iOS 18 according to this latest latest report that we've had right here. And with that, guys, are you excited about iOS 18? What feature would you love to see the most announced at the June event at WWDC 2024? Let me know in the comments below. And with that too, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.